The ability to bunny hop is not exactly crucial for us as road cyclists, but there is no doubt that on occasion that skill can get you out of some serious trouble. And there's also the fact that if you need to negotiate a curb on the way to a cafe stop, it gives you extra style points. So let's show you exactly how to do one. Before we get cracking, you do of course want to make sure that your bike is in good working order, that everything is tight, especially the through axles or quick releases here. But once you're happy with that, we can start talking technique. And I think that for this trick, we should take some hints and tips from our friends at the Global Mountain Bike Network, because they know what they're talking about when it comes to getting air. So there are two parts to a properly executed bunny hop. You don't just pull both wheels up at the same time, but rather pull the front wheel up first and then follow through with the back wheel. The first thing you want to practice then is just getting your front wheel off the ground on its own. So find a nice quiet and flat area and mark yourself a line like this one. Approach the line at somewhere above walking pace, so not too fast but also not too slow either. And just before you get there, bend your elbows and then simultaneously pull back whilst also moving your body weight towards the back of the bike. This simple motion should be more than enough to get your front wheel off the ground. Essentially what you are doing here is what they call a manual. So well done, you've already learned a new trick today. Take time though to practice this and you should find you can get your front wheel a good five or six inches off the ground. Once you've got the first part dialed, it's time to get the rear wheel off the ground. So use your same piece of ground and approach the line at the same speed, this time with your body weight backwards. Once you get there, move your body weight towards the front of the bike while simultaneously kicking your pedals up behind you. Now, with clipless pedals, it is quite easy to cheat this bit, but if you're learning it from scratch, it's definitely worth getting the correct technique. So move your hips upwards and forwards from that rearward position and scoop up with your feet behind you. Again, you should be able to get your rear wheel a good five or six inches off the ground. As you get more confident, it's time to start putting the two together. So front wheel up, back wheel up straight afterwards. Initially, you can keep this as two separate steps done quite closely together just to get your brain and your body used to that motion. But once you feel you're confident and you're ready, it's time to bring them together. So before your marked line, start with your weight a little over the bars, then move your body backwards, extending your arms. Then just before your front wheel gets to peak height, move your body forwards and upwards and scoop your feet up. All being well, this should result in you getting both wheels off the ground at the same time, i.e. you're getting air. Which means congratulations are in order. You are now a bony fide bunny hopper. Now this bunny hopping thing is not something that you are going to be able to do overnight, unless perhaps you are a teenager. But put the practice and the time in, and I have full confidence that everyone out there can eventually do a bunny hop. Make sure though, that you are very confident before you attempt to bunny hop up a curb on the way to the cafe stop. I can tell you from experience that that will hurt both you and your pride if you get it wrong. Right, if you are yet subscribed to the Global Cycling Network, please do so right now by clicking on the globe. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up just down below and two more tricks coming up for you right now. Just down here, how to track stand, a very useful skill, and just down here, how to wheelie. Not really useful at all, but good to know.